Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass, there's a real blade of... Hi, everyone. This is Linda. Um, Congress approves expanded military aid to Israel. The United States... Israel Enhanced Security Cooperation Act now awaits President Barack Obama's signature, and this was in July 2018. But but the point of this is is um, APEC said don't touch any aid to Israel, even though we're under sequestering the sequestration. It's about to take a big bite out of the Pentagon budget. The American-Israel Public Affairs Committee, APAC, um, says don't, don't cut our money in any way. Uh, you can touch anybody else's, even school lunchroom programs, but not aid to Israel. Now, um, I, I'm going to put that one in a link, but I want you to know we spend around 8.4 million dollars a day on Israel. That's 3.1 billion divided by 365 days. So that's what it works out to be. Um, now I, I I saw on here also that Israel and Netanyahu or Bibi um, could be involved in uh, nukes smuggling and I'm sure that this is kind of um, old news for some of you. I was just doing some research because um, it seems to me this happened back in March that we're headed to war especially after what just happened in Boston. I understand that some of the papers that were found uh, concern some stuff about Israel. Um, so my, my biggest issue right now and it is a big issue, is um, they're going to take our tax monies and they don't care if they cut the veterans benefits or your children's school lunches or your social security that you put in for or it, it doesn't matter. Israel's going to take it because they are the welfare state. They are our welfare. They, we, we supply them with everything. They don't have to do anything. Yet you'll call some bum on the street who can barely make ends meet the, um, the welfare person. And you'll complain about food stamps to illegal immigrants on the southern border that our government is terrorizing the hell out of. Yet we'll send $8.4 million a day to Israel to start wars. Uh, these are God's chosen people. You tell me what kind of God this is. I'm sorry I am Native American and I for the life of me don't understand it and not one Christian has yet answered this for me because this God is not a very God. A, a, I don't see him as a just and fair God if all he wants is war, death, and destruction. I've tried to do good things all my life. Feed homely uh, hungry people, do the best I can, um, try not to hurt anyone, and yet all I see Israel doing is kill, 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 and, and stealing money from us, our taxpayer monies. I, I would suggest if you signed a check to the IRS, cancel that check. Um, there is a new thing. It's called in the occupation. Do you want it to continue this APEC friendship and there is a lot of people on here and, and it's a lot of people are saying no we we want APEC out of America I wholeheartedly agree um, APEC ha should not be lobbying for us they just should not so in the occupation of the lobbyist of APEC but right now it looks like we're going to send arms to um to Israel to probably start a war and Congress really doesn't care because APEC is the lobbyist and as of right now 2013 uh, we send 8.4 million dollars a day um, and I was reading will budget cuts impact US aid to Israel and they're saying not on your life APEC says don't touch that aid to Israel 
Um, Congress approves expanded military aid. Um, so, I mean, we've got to quit. We USA to Israel, we have got to stop all this. We, we're not the empire that we should not be the empire. We're supposed to be a republic, a sovereign country that we shouldn't be financing all the wars and killing all the people and everyone hates us and the blowback's going to go back on us. If they're a sovereign country, let them stand on their own two feet, make their own weapons and work for themselves. Um, really, this has gotten out of hand and this is just my opinion and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack from this, but it kind of pissed me off today after everything else. Um, so uh, that's just my opinion. Um, that, you know, 8.4 million of taxpayer dollars means that for our budget to continue, there's got to be a lot of ghost operations and heroin brought in from Afghanistan and no telling what other deals ghost and black ops are doing to make money so we can fund Israel. Peace, love, no fear.